Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. Last episode, we talked about work favoritism. On this episode, I'm going to discuss the topic of work violence and its impact on employees. Work violence can be defined as a physical, as any physical or psychological harm, including threats, intimidation, harassment, or assault that occurs in the workplace. It is a serious issue that affects employees of all industries and job roles. The prevalence of work violence is on the rise, and it is essential to understand the causes and consequences of this problem. One of the primary causes of work violence is a hostile work environment. When employees feel threatened or bullied, they might lash out in response, leading to violence. Other factors that can contribute to work violence include job insecurity, poor management, and workplace stress. Poor management is the number one key. You as a manager should have should be able to keep everybody, you should be able to run a tight ship. If there's any problem when it comes to work violence, you should be able to go over there and talk and pull people aside and have a conversation to see what's going on so this doesn't happen again. If you completely lost all control over your employees, it's over. Because it's just going to keep going until it boils over and eventually you're going to lose your job as a manager or lose your job as an employee. The impact of work violence on employees can be severe. It can lead to physical injuries, emotional trauma, and even death. In addition, it can cause employees to suffer from anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Work violence can also damage employee morale, and productivity, leading to turnover and decreased job satisfaction. Some people are just going to be like, you know what? I just don't want to be here anymore. This is not this is not something I like, and I'm just going to move on from this. And that's when the turnover starts. To prevent work violence, employers must take steps to create a safe and supportive work environment. This includes developing clear policies and procedures for dealing with workplace violence and providing training for employees on how to identify and report potential incidents of violence and implementing measures to reduce stress and improve employee well-being. It is also essential for employees to speak up if they witness or experience work violence. Reporting incidents of violence can help prevent future incidents And protect other employees from harm. Employers should encourage employees to come forward and provide a safe and confidential reporting system. A lot of people, a lot of employees are scared to say anything because they're afraid that the other person is going to find out. And then they're going to have to go through all this and they're going to have they're going to be watched and this person is going to try to bully them or tell them things. And that's why some people don't speak up. Some other employees don't speak up because they feel that they say something. They're going to lose the, they're going to lose the opportunity for job advancement because they're going to feel like, Oh man, I feel like I write this person out or I feel like I'm complaining about this. And they feel like, Oh, you know what? When you apply for a job, this guy's always complaining about whatever's happening in in the workplace. We're not going to give him the job. He's too much, too much trouble. So a lot of people don't say anything. They just keep it quiet, but you have to say something because when it's gone too far, it's difficult. And there's always two sides to the story, but none of this should happen. None of this workplace violence should happen. The manager should keep, should be able to Step in the middle of this and go, hey, what's going on? And have conversations, right? Have conversations because when people are upset at each other at work and they're constantly bickering and fighting with each other, it's gonna ha- there's going to be a time where people are going to be upset and there might be some fights. And that is all due to management, to not 
for manage because managers are not on top of things, right? Some some managers don't want to have any interaction when it comes to violence. Some managers don't want to have uh, that one on one when it comes to this because they're afraid that this person might be violent or they're afraid that this other person might quit and they're scared. But as a manager, you have to be able to calm people down and have them talk to you so so they feel secure, so they feel safe that they can tell you anything. So you just don't look at the other side. A good manager is always going to look at both sides and try to fix the problem. That's what this is about. If you have a bad manager where you're going to believe the other person and not believe, for instance, the victim, then you're going to have problems. So you have to be able to sit down and and talk this over with these people with your employees and go, all right, what's going on here? Hear both ends of the story and then come out with a solution to help, to help them. Maybe one of them is stressed. Maybe one is maybe one of them is having family problems or money problems, health problems. I mean, nobody knows what nobody knows what goes on in people's minds, especially when you have a bunch of employees and the daily normal life is hard, right? The daily life is hard and something can trigger you. If somebody's being unfair to you or not training you right or bickering about you, you're going to blow up because you feel like they're treating you unfairly. And that's why management has to step in. That's why they are the most important Part of this, of work violence, is the managers. The managers have to step in. Work violence is a serious issue that can have a significant impact on employees and their well-being. Employers must take steps to create a safe and supportive work environment, and employees must speak up if they witness or experience work violence. By working together, this can prevent work violence and create a safer environment workplace for everyone if you have been a part of this or are going through this you need to make sure you speak up you need to make sure that you say something to somebody before something bad happens and not because you know you're picking sides you need to be like hey this is what's happening this is what's going on i don't like my peers fighting i just want to work in a safe and and decent environment where I can come into when I can come to work and not have to worry about this stuff. Because when people are fighting, you're just, I mean, like I said, you're stressed out. You don't want to hear it. You just want to concentrate. And all concentration goes out the window because there's distractions, there's fights, there's people bickering at lunch, there's people bickering on break time, there's people taking sides, there's people that have witnessed the whole situation. There's, I mean, this whole thing becomes horrible. This whole workplace becomes just bad and if you don't put a stop to it you lose complete control so if there's something going on don't be scared make sure that you talk to somebody make sure that you express how you feel no matter how you feel if you're scared or if you're having anxiety or you know you're like i just don't want to come into work make sure you express that and if you're the victim Make sure you don't lash out. Make sure you don't say the wrong things. Make sure you don't lose, you run yourself out of a job because you're upset and you're going to make threats. Make sure that you go to the right person. You go to human resources and you explain to them how you feel. And this person does this to me and it makes me feel this way and all that stuff. You need to make sure you speak up without having to lash out because you could lose your job. And you could be right. It's just that you're the one that's losing your cool. And it is not it's not right. The other person, right? The the person that's 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 not being fair, you know, you need to that other person needs to also think about what they're saying to that person. Hey, am I am I saying this? Am I not saying this right? Am I being too rough with this person? Am I being too hard with this person? Maybe this person takes a little bit longer to understand. Uh, how to learn how to do new things or maybe this is a whole new thing for him and maybe i just need to have more patience and be able to explain myself a lot more in better detail so this can be fixed by having 
the proper guidelines and also by having the right management. You have to have the right management. You as a manager, you might not want to get involved in any of this, but that is your job. That's what you're the manager. And you have to have those tough, tough one-on-one conversations or those group conversations when the problem happens because you are the only one that can put a stop to this. It has to be done. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get rid of work violence or people just snapping or, ups, you know, because they're upset because they've got, this has gone too far because there's nobody that has stopped it or even looked into it. Hope this helps. Until next time. <laughs>